Hello, everybody. So let's continue our discussion of di uh, division with decimals. And in lesson 5.2, we're going to be talking about dividing decimals by whole numbers. And our essential question is, how can you use a model to divide a decimal by a whole number? Well, <clears throat> we're going to use decimal models to represent this. I'm actually going to use squares lines and dots to represent whole numbers, tenths, and hundredths. Okay, so now Angela has enough wood to make a picture frame with a perimeter of two and four tenths meters. She wants the frame to be a square. What will be the length of each side of the frame? All right, so we're going to make a model to show two and four tenths. Okay, so that's one, right? We said we can represent whole numbers with a square, right? And then it says four tenths. So we have one, two, three, four tenths. Now we need to share our model among how many equal groups? Well, remember that now the perimeter means the distance around the outside or along the edges of, a, of an object. So a square would have four equal sides. So we can draw four circles to represent the four groups and we'll put four on, on the line because we have four equal groups. Now, could you take these two holes and share them equally into four groups? No, it, it wouldn't work, right? So since we can't do that, we're going to have to regroup. And if I was using an actual full scale model, I would cut the temps apart out of the, out of the hole. But what we can do here is just circle each one and trade the hole for 10 temps. That's five tenths, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we can take this tenth and also trade it for another set of tenths. All right. So now we have no, we don't have any tenths anymore. I mean, we don't have any ones anymore. We have 24 tenths. So. There are 24 tenths. We can share 24 equally among four groups. We know that six times four is 24. So I should be able to put six bars in, or six tenths in every circle. So that's six, that's 12, that's 18, and that's 24. So are there any ones in each of the groups? No, there aren't any ones, but there are six tenths in each group. So what would that decimal be? Well, just six tenths. So two and four tenths divided by four is six tenths. So each side has to be six tenths of a meter. Okay, and that would make sense. 24 divided by 4 is 6. Okay, But we're dividing a, des a number that's in the tenths by a whole number, so our answer has to be in the tenths. All right, so now number one. Explain why you would need to cut or regroup the model that we used in step C. Well, I could not share. Okay, I couldn't share the two holes among the four groups. But I could regroup and share.
share the 24 tenths. So, <clears throat> how would our model be different if the perimeter were four and eight tenths meters? Well, this time we would have four holes, right? Well, that time I could share each of the one holes in each group. And then eight temps, I could put two temps in each group. So there would be no need to regroup, right? one and two temps, or one whole and two temps. So if you have enough whole numbers or ones to share equally amongst the number of groups you have, then there's no need to regroup. Okay. Now let's look at 214. So you can also use base 10 blocks to model division of a decimal by a whole number. So base 10 blocks, all right? So Kyle has a roll of ribbon three and 21 hundredths yards long. He cuts the ribbon into three equal lengths. How long is each of the ribbons? All right, so we would use base 10 blocks to show three and 21 hundredths. One, two, three. Two tenths would represent the 20, or the two tenths, and we have one hundredth. So remember that a flat represents one, a long represents a tenth, and a small cube represents one hundredth. So how many ones are there? There's three ones, two tenths, and one hundredth. Okay, so now step two, we need to share the ones. So we have three equal groups. One, two, three. All right. Well, could I share the three ones equally? Sure I can, right? I could put one in each group. Okay, now can I share the two tenths in three groups? No. Okay. So we have one one shared in each group, and there are zero ones left over. We can't share the two temps among the three groups without regrouping. So we're going to regroup the temps by replacing them with hundredths. So remember, there's ten hundredths in every temp. So we'll have, we're going to trade the two temps for twenty hundredths. So now we have twenty one hundredths, right? So we can just share one at a time if we need to. That's three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. And that makes sense because we had twenty-one hundredths. We had twenty that we regrouped, and we had the one that we started with. So we had twenty-one. And twenty-one divided by three is seven. Okay? So Obviously, if you know that division factor, just put it in. We'd have seven dots. So, we there are how many tenths shared in each group? There aren't any. We don't have any tenths. We don't have any tenths left. We have zero tenths left over because we regrouped them as 21 hundredths. Then we shared the 21 hundredths equally among the three groups. And so there are now seven hundredths in each group, and we have zero left over. So what do we have? We have one 
zero tenths, and two, four, six, seven hundredths. So each piece of ribbon would be one and seven hundredths yards long. All right, use the model to complete the number sentence. So I see one and six tenths divided by four. Well, clearly we can't share one whole with four groups. So we would have had to trade the one whole for 10 temps, and we would have had 14 temps. 14 temps plus the six temps, we would have 20 temps that we have to share with the four groups. Not 20, I, I, don't, I think I added in my head, I added four here for some reason. There's 10 temps here, so one whole equals 10 temps plus six tenths. So we have 16 tenths shared with four and 16 divided by four is four. So we have one, two, three, four, eight, 12, 16 tenths. So what's our answer? What's in each group? Four tenths. All right, number two, we have three And 42 hundredths divide by 3. 3 and 42 hundredths. Can we share 3 and 42 hundredths equally in three groups? Yeah. So these are representing the three equal groups. So how much do we have in each group? Well, we have one whole. We have one tenth. And we have four hundredths. Okay. So they, we put one hole in each group. We could put one tenth in every group, and we had one tenth left over. We would have to regroup that last tenth for ten hundredths. Ten hundredths plus two hundredths is twelve hundredths. Four, eight, twelve. All right, so now we're going to do that with the following problem. So 1 and 8 tenths. Okay, so we have the one whole, and then we have 8 tenths. All right, 1 and 8 tenths. We have to share that equally in three groups. Well, clearly I can't share one whole in the three groups. So let's trade that one whole for 10 tenths. All right, now, so we have 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 tenths. 18 tenths. What is 18 tenths divided by 3? That would be 6 tenths. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6. 12, 18. So 1 and 8 tenths divided by 3 is 6. All right, number 4. 3 and 6 tenths. Okay, 3 and 6 tenths, and we have to put them in e four equal groups. Well, I can't trade, I can't share three holes in four groups. So I have to trade all of these ones for 10 tenths, each of them. So we have 10 tenths, 10 tenths, 10 tenths, or 30 tenths. Okay, we traded all the holes for 30 tenths. And we already had two, four, six tenths. So we have 36 tenths divided by four. Well, that's nine tenths. Nine. 
18, 27, 36. So our answer is 9 tenths. 2 and 5 tenths share in 5 groups. All right, five groups. We can't share two holes with five groups, right? So we're going to trade those two holes. And we know that there's 10 temps in every hole. So I'm going to trade the two holes for 20 temps. 20 temps plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 gives us 25 temps divided by 5. 25 temps divided by 5. Well, I should be able to put five in each group. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's ten. Oh, apparently I don't know how to make five. One, two, three, four, five. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-five. Twenty-five temps shared with five groups, we have five tenths in each group. All right, two and four tenths shared with eight groups. All right, well, again, there's no way I can share two holes with eight groups, so I'm going to trade those for 20 tenths. So 20 tenths plus the four tenths we already had gives us 24 tenths divided by eight. 24 tenths divided by eight is three. So three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. Three and seventy-eight hundredths divided by three. All right, there's our three holes. There's our seven. And there's our eight hundredths. Three groups. I can take each one of those whole numbers and put one of them in each group. How about the temps? Okay, well, I know I can put at least one tenth in every group. So that's three of them, and I have one, two, three, four tenths left. So I can still put one in each group. And I'm going to have one tenth left over. I'm going to trade that tenth for ten hundredths. All right, so we have ten, fifteen, eighteen hundredths. Eighteen hundredths. Divide by three groups is six, right? Okay, so what do we have? We have 1.26, 1 26 hundredths. Number eight, 1 and 33 hundredths. Now we're going to share that with seven groups. All right, well, there's no way we can share seven, uh, one whole with seven groups. So we're clearly going to trade that for 10 tenths. All right, so now we have 13 tenths and seven groups. Well, I know I can only share one, of, one in each of those. Okay, so I'm going to share seven of them. So I shared those seven, and that leaves me six tenths. Well, I can't share those six tenths with seven groups. So I'm going to trade the six tenths for sixty hundredths. Six 
60 hundredths plus the 3 hundredths is 63 hundredths divided by 7. 63 hundredths divided by 7 equals 9 hundredths. So. So we have 1 tenth in each group, and we have 9 whoops, and we have 19, uh, 9 hundredths, so we have a total of 19 hundredths shared with each group. 4 and 72 hundredths. All right, we have four groups. Okay, so I can put one hole in each group. And then and we have two, four, six, seven tenths. I can only share one in each group. And there's gonna be three left over. Okay, I can't share the three tenths equally with four groups. So I'm going to trade those three tabs for 30 hundredths. So we have 32 hundredths divided by four. Well, 32 divided by four is eight. So we have eight hundredths. So we have one hole in each group, we have one tenth in each group, and we have eight hundredths. So four and seventy-two hundredths divided by four is four is one and eighteen hundredths. Okay, number ten. Two and fifty-two hundredths. We have to share that with nine groups. All right, two holes. No way you can share two holes with nine groups. So we're going to trade those for 20 tenths. 20 tenths plus the five tenths gives us 25 tenths. 25 tenths divided by nine. Well, nine times three is 27, so I can't put three temps in each group, right? So we probably took, we can put two temps in each group. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. So 28, 25 temps minus 18 temps gives us seven temps left. So seven temps are left and we can't trade those with nine share those with nine groups so we're going to trade seven tenths for 70 hundredths seventy plus two we have seventy two hundredths divided by nine seventy two divided by nine is eight hundredths So we have four in each, four hundredths in each group. So we have two tenths and eight hundredths in each group. So 28 hundredths.
All right, number 11, 6 and 25 hundredths. Six, two hundredths, and five hundredths. And we're sharing with five groups. Okay, well, we have six ones, so we put one in each group. One, two, three, four, five. We shared those five, and we have one whole left over. Can't share one whole with five groups. So we're going to trade that for 10 tenths. Okay, so we traded the one hole for 10 tenths. Well, we have five groups, so I know I can put those 10 by putting two in each group, and then I have two left. Well, I can't share those two tenths with five groups, so I'm going to have to trade those two tenths for 20 hundredths, 15, 20. Okay, we traded two tenths for 20 hundredths. So we have 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 hundredths. Well, I can put five in each group, right? One, two, three, four, five, 10. 15, 20, 25. So we have one hole in each group. We have two tenths and five hundredths. Number 12. What's the error? Okay, so let's do some reasoning here. Let's see. Ada is making a making banners from a roll of paper that's four and five hundredth meters long. She will cut the paper into three equal lengths. She uses base ten blocks to model how long each piece will be. Describe Ada's error. Well, let's see. We do have three equal groups. And we had one hole, right? Well, wouldn't you have to trade that extra one? Because these are one, two, three holes. She would have one hole left over. We can't share, share one hole with three groups, so we would have had to exchange or regroup that one hole for 10 temps. There aren't any temps in this groups. So she didn't regroup the one, the leftover one as 10 temps. Instead, she grouped it as 10 hundredths. That's why she's got 15 hundredths here. Okay, so. as 10 hundredths instead of 10 tenths. She should have three tenths in each group. And the regrouped tenth to get fifteen hundredths. So four and five hundredths divided by three should be one and 35 hundredths.
not one in five hundredths. All right, number 13. Sam can ride his bike four and five tenths kilometers in nine minutes. And Amanda can ride her bike three and six tenths kilometers in six minutes. Which rider might go farther in one minute? Okay, well, so So this is Sam, and he's going to share his time in nine groups. Can't share four holes with nine groups, so we trade that for 40 temps, 10 temps in each group, 10, 20, 30, 40 temps, plus the two, four, five temps. Gives us 45 tenths divided by 9. Well, 45 divided by 9 is just 5. So his would be 5 tenths. So Sam is five temps. Kilometers per minute. And we're going to take Amanda. And she wrote three and six temps. In six minutes. So her groups would be six. Okay, again, I can't share three holes with six groups. So I'm going to trade those. For 30 temps. Well, 30 plus 6 temps is 36 temps. 36 temps divided by 6 groups. 36 divided by 6 is 6 temps. So Amanda, six tenths. So who can go farther in one minute? Amanda. Three and six tenths divide by six equals six tenths. And four and five tenths divide by nine equals five tenths. Six tenths is greater than five tenths. So number 14, how can we use the inverse operation to find one and eight tenths divided by three? Well, the inverse operation division is multiplication. So I can use multiplication. To think three times what is one and eight tenths. I know that three times six equals 18. So three times six tenths equals 18 tenths or one and eight tenths. So, 1.8 divided by 3 is equal to 6 tenths. So, 3 times what is 1 and 8 tenths? We can think of 1 and 8 tenths as 18 tenths. Okay. So, 3 times what equals 18 tenths? 6 tenths. All right, number 15, draw and model to show 4 and 8 tenths divided by 4. All right, this is everything the same as what we've been doing. So there's our 4 tenths, I mean our 4 holes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 
and we need to put them in to four equal groups. Well, that we can do easily. I can share one hole with each of the four groups. And now we're left with eight tenths. Well, eight tenths divided by four is two tenths. Two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. So our answer is one and two tenths. So everybody, that's it for our lesson with modeling decimals or dividing decimals by whole numbers using models. In our next lesson, lesson 5.3, we're going to be working on estimating quotients. So until then, I will see you soon.